What's going on guys? My name is Ed and in this video I install Toyota Supra TT brake calipers in my SE300. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have some fun with that. But before we jump into it, do me a favor if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button on the side, it'll help me out a lot. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, we've done quite a bit of things to the SE300. We've got the coilovers in, we've got the diff bushings. You know, everything's coming together pretty cool pretty smoothly, can't complain. One of the things that I need to tackle, as I mentioned earlier, is this setup here. So the car is in some, it, it's in need of some brakes, and I figured it was a perfectly good time to upgrade. Instead of just replacing the pads and rotors, let's go ahead and uh, upgrade to some better calipers, since I'm gonna be making a little bit of power here. So what you're looking at are some twin turbo calipers off of a Toyota Supra. And you can see that the color scheme is a little bit different. I'll explain why in a second. And yeah, now there are a couple of options that you have for brake calipers. You have as LS400 calipers that you can put in. A lot of guys do that. They're a lot cheaper. And you have the twin turbo calipers. And then if you wanna spend a little bit of money, you know, you can buy some uh, SRT8 calipers, or I think some guys have even put the Corvette calipers. I could be wrong about that. But I have seen some guys use the uh, bigger piston calipers. You can do that. These are a bolt-in though. And um, so that's why I opted to go with the super calipers. So uh, yeah, now if you notice the color scheme here is, only reason is these are brand spanking new, the rears. They're so new that um, I peeled the sticker off of it like maybe a couple of minutes ago. You can see right here. The fronts are used, rebuilt, resealed, and just repainted black. Um, I didn't do the repainting. Somebody else did, they did an okay job. So we're gonna go ahead and install these. And yeah, see how these look with the new wheels. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here. Now, this is gonna basically be like any other brake job that you do, except we're gonna be pulling the calipers off and we have to trim the dust plate. So I have some uh, special tools to do this. You can choose whatever you want from this selection. You can, you can get an angle grinder to do that, you know, some snips. I'm probably gonna use the snips and, um, and go from there. Now, my initial game plan was to put the correct uh, dust shields in, which I have them over here. But in order to properly install these, you need to, it's basically like doing a wheel bearing job in the front. And I figured if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm just gonna trim it for now and in the event that my wheel bearing starts acting up in the future, I got these perfectly shields that I can pop in when I get, you know, when it's, when it's time to cross that bridge. Okay, so uh, I didn't tell you guys what brake pads I was going with. I'm going with EBC greens. And I'm also replacing the brake lines. Got some steel and steel lines for front and rear. And then for the uh, rotors, we're gonna go with stop techs. Stop tech pad, uh, sorry, stop tech uh, lines and stop tech rotors, front and rears. So, yeah. Now is actually a good time to uh, install the pads and the, uh, and the rotors. Sorry, pads and, yeah, brake lines. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I got the brake pads in, I got the brake lines hand tight. We'll, we'll mess with that in a second. The rears, I am missing the uh, clip. And I thought I had it, but I don't. So that kind of sucks. I got the fronts, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna order the rears. I just won't be able to finish this up, but it's fine, it's not like this is going anywhere anyways. So let's just uh, keep going. We'll go ahead and, and uh, install these.
All right, I want to show you guys the progress that's been made so far. Let me uh, give you guys a quick look here. Let's pull out here. All right, so what you saw me doing is, like I mentioned earlier, cutting off the top, the bottom, some of the sides, basically anywhere that's going to touch the caliper or the rotor. I uh, put, I had the rotor on earlier. I just have to kind of bend this back. It's not touching, but it's a little too close for my liking. So I'm going to just bend this back a little bit. But so far, I like where everything is. It's not my best work. It's not my best work. But this is going to get the job done. Some guys actually pull these off completely. And I think uh, having something on here is better than nothing. So right now, what I'm about to do is take the uh, brake line off back here. Then we have to clean this up, the hub, apply some anti-seize, and then just start putting everything back on. And then I can repeat the same with the uh, other side and bleed the brake system and yeah, put the wheels on. I don't know if we're gonna do that today, but we're almost there, so yeah. All right, let's jump in. Alright, so uh, this took a little longer than it was supposed to, but I am finally done. Let me show you guys uh, the finished product here. Let's start with the front. So, oh, I got the steering wheel turned. So, yeah. Look at that. Well, bam. I don't know if the lighting is going to be good here. Alright, so this should be better. Yeah, this, uh, this looks a million times better. I can't wait to put this thing on the ground and put the wheels on. The uh, most time consuming part about this whole entire thing is the brake line. Um, that was a bit of a pain to, to get it started on all of them. And, and there's a reason for that. The reason is apparently these came over torqued from the factory. So the nipple or the, I guess the, uh, the fitting I should say is uh, it's kind of compressed and so it, it's a bit of a pain, but after uh, some help and um, some filing, I was able to get them all on and yeah, that took a little longer than it was supposed to. If you're gonna do this, just keep that in mind. I don't know, maybe some of the SEs, it works pretty good and you don't have to do that. In my case, I don't know, I had to do that and, and yeah, so if that happens to you guys, just keep that in mind and prepare for that time consuming process. Uh, in the rears, this looks really good. Um, yeah, man, this whole entire setup, man, I'm really excited. I'm not a fan of the uh, backing plate idea that I did there. You know, cutting and pushing it back, it doesn't rub. 
So, I don't know. I might change my mind in the future and cut that off completely. Or if I end up doing a wheel bearing job, I just might replace the backing plates in general, front and rear. Right that wrong. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, overall, let me go to the front here. There's not a whole lot left. Um, the next thing that we have to do is bleed the brake lines. And I really can't think of a whole lot, you know, just bleed the brake line, torque down a few things that need to be torqued down, wrap the downpipe. And um, yeah, man, this thing is almost ready. Almost, oh, I gotta roll the fenders. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if I'm gonna roll the fenders or shave the fenders. And so yeah, we'll see. But if you guys like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, man, give me a comment if you guys have questions. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until next time, peace.